Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Um, long time, I, I think there is one month since I did my last video. Today I have another quick tip regarding the shear command in Blender. This is Blender 2.8 here and I have today a user case uh, example in which I was building this uh, sci-fi scope for a sniper rifle and the lead in case the client the lead art director in the team asked for more dynamic looks in the head of the scope this top piece here let me show you um this piece here that covers the top of the sniper the laser in the case and uh, I thought about showcasing this uh, example because uh, I see lots of people, especially beginners in, in Blender, when they want to um, make drastic changes in the overall topology of a mesh. Uh, they really like using the proportional editing tool to make these changes. So uh, in the case here, you can select the top go to proportional editing and let's say add a linear movement then click g y to move it in the y direction and do this right and nothing against it this is really cool actually the problem with this is, is that some cases uh you obtain uneven normal directions in this cut here Sometimes you want this, sometimes you don't, depending on your uh, art direction. And in this case here, uh, we really didn't want this uneven cut to this piece. So I was seeing, um, asking other users about that and there is the shear command. So let's click Ctrl Z here. And if we go to our to graphic view, select the entire geometry. Uh, there are four uh, hotkeys you need to press. Shift, Ctrl, Alt, S. And now we have the shear command. And now look at this. We have the straight dynamic cuts we originally wanted. Look at this nice and even so uh i just wanted to share that simple to use not everyone aware of these hotkeys but uh, really time saving sometimes till next time